Okay, welcome back guys. I'm Dean and I normally do metal detecting videos, but we're trapped inside, so I'm going to do another uh, review, but this time it's an unboxing as well. And I've been on the militaryfirst.co.uk website, I'll put a link into it down below. Um, and I've bought myself a Molly vest, and um, we're going to talk about what Molly is, and we're going to show you what's inside. Alright, so the reason I've done this is, as you know, when you're out metal detecting, you've got various things on you. Maybe you want to carry a first aid kit or a knife or a trowel or a torch, little bits and bobs. And um, after breaking the zip on my fly fishing vest, I thought I just want something sturdy, um, something I can add pockets to <laughs> as and when I need it. And the Molly system. Um, is a really good idea for metal detecting. I know that uh, there are some other metal detector people that use the Molly system, so um, I thought I'd give it a go. Um, and we'll unbox this little parcel now. Right, let's open this up. All right, let's get this open. So I bought a Molly vest, and then I'm gonna attach to that some pouches that I thought would fit my gear in. So this is called a, that's in German, and the German's not that good. All oh, right, it's the dump pouch. So that's gonna to attach to the vest, and I'll go through how you do that later. But I thought that would be ideal for um, just dumping in uh, my, maybe my pointer or bits of scrap lead and the rubbish stuff that I find. It's got little netting pouches at the bottom, uh, at the side as well. And there's another little bit there to fit something else in. I've got these quick release poppers and you basically weave these straps into the vest and through these strap um, entry points here. Let's have a look what else we got. This is a, called a gadget pouch and I thought this might be pretty cool to um, stick my phone in, um, maybe my car key, it's got a clip there, a velcro strap there, have a little bit, bit of bungee here, that might be useful. There's quite a lot of room in there to slip bits in, maybe a bit some plasters or a bit of antiseptic cream or something. And inside here you've got quite a lot of space, I can get my hand in there, and the other little side pockets so that's going to come in handy I think again same system again um, you thread these through the molly system and we'll go through that later so that's the gadget pouch right this is called a radio pouch and I thought I could possibly put either my pin pointer in here or I might put my phone in here. I'm not sure. It's quite long, so plenty of room for a pin pointer. A little drainage hole at the bottom. This stuff's really sturdy nylon. You're not going to tear this easily, if at all. Again, little popper system at the back. And you can pull the top tight if you need to. Okay, and then this is the the vest. So they, they come in one size, and what you do is you just adjust the straps to fit your your size. Um, and I'm going to wear this over my coat in the winter so I can get to my pocket. So um, this is ideal for me. I didn't have to worry about what size it came in. It's just going to fit. I'll just adjust it to however I want it. Okay, so you've got these adjustable straps. 
here's the back of it you've got these little uh, loops if you need to attach anything to these as well um, and I know these uh, vests and the molly system is more for um, military and um, paintballing and stuff like that but I think they're ideal for metal detecting these are the parts of the vest where the the strapping goes through and you can see that this nylon stuff that's that's flipping indestructible that is um, if you if, if you can break that fair play to you but that's tough stuff um, it's all made by Miltech. I've used Miltech outdoor stuff before and it seems to be pretty good. Um, this zip, because it's zips that are the things that go first, I find. That's, that is a tough zip. And you've got the, strip, the uh, clips as well that keep it on. Yeah, that's a good zip, that is. I'm glad to see that. Right, so let's get it on and see what it looks like. Okay, yeah. let's get this on. I've put my coat on as well because this will give me a rough idea of um, how big I need it to be when I adjust it. Just do the zip up. Right, so that's, that's quite a lot of room there. If you're a big, a big guy um, and you're worried about if one of these is going to fit, I'm 5 foot 10 and I weigh about 12 and a half stone, sort of 80 kilograms ish. Um, so that gives you an idea of how much room there is in one of these before I've adjusted it. Um, but for me, obviously, that's way too big at the moment. So let's work on these straps and get it a bit smaller. This vest a bit smaller um, because they're a bit too much uh, length on the width. So I'm going to pull it to there to see how that goes first. Let's make that one roughly the same length. It's as simple as that. This is really easy to use. I'm just going to pull these straps there and then do the other side. All right, let's just try that one on now and see how that fits. Okay, so I ended up pulling the straps completely um, tight because um, I don't have a particularly large girth. Um, you can also adjust the shoulder straps if you need to. They're fully adjustable, you can make them bigger as well obviously. I'm just going to pull these ones a little bit tighter. Now it, um, obviously when I'm metal detecting in the winter I'll have this on and I might even have a waterproof over that and possibly um, a body warmer underneath if it's really cold. So I would just adjust this again, make it even, uh, make it larger. Um, but this is, this is, it's light, it weighs a, um, less than a kilogram, um, the exact weight will be on the website um, which I'll put a link to um, but yeah this is good material it's light you're not going to rip that or catch it on something and break it um, this is good stuff so I'm, I'm pretty happy with this um, the next stage is we're going to think about where we want to put the attachments the molly attachments right so this is how you thread on pouches and stuff with the molly system so you take that strap and you put it through the first gap. Then you've got to thread it through the strap on the pouch. And then you're gonna take it through the next hole on the vest, come through there, and then come through that hole there, and clip it in at the end. I can do that. Right, there you go. So that's that first strap done. Now if you wanted to set this up so that um, the pouch wasn't on securely and you could just rip it off when you need, you wouldn't bother threading it through the pouch. You would just thread it through the vest and then you can just pop it off when you need it easier and pull it out. I'm just gonna go ahead now and do the um, other side and we'll come back to you when I'm so done. One other thing that I managed to do last night was that I've got this um, sheath and I didn't realize also that this was molly compatible so it's got a little straps behind there that I've strapped in to the sheath and put it on my vest so now I can get to my um, hori hori knife pretty easily put it back in it does make the vest I guess a bit bulky and it's got a bit of weight to it but you've, I've got to carry this stuff around anyway so it's either um, on my chest high up which makes it easy or I've got to put it 
on my belt or on my detector or on my spade so it makes no difference and this is quite Good time putting on the pouches and getting them exactly where I wanted them um, so that I was comfortable I could still move my arm and move my detector so that I could get to things where I want them so I've got the utility pouch here got all my gloves and stuff in there finds tin water bottle uh, there's another little pouch there that I haven't even used so and at the front unclip that got my pocket knife a couple of spare detector parts and I've got my drop pouch here which I'll probably put my um, vlogging equipment in maybe a tripod and the camera a uh, little key there in the side pocket but what I also found was and if you've got XP equipment and I didn't even realize this until I got this molly vest is that their um, pointer holster appears to be compatible with molly so I've got that clipped in to here now I've never really known what to do by pinpointing before sometimes I put it in my pocket sometimes I put it on my detector which just makes the whole thing heavier when you swing your arm but I'm pretty happy with it there actually um, so I'll have my I'll probably put my, my mobile phone in there and what I also discovered if you've got an XP pouch finds pouch that's compatible with molly as well so if you didn't want this um, drop bag you could take your XP finds pouch off of the belt which is easily done just pops off and thread it through onto your molly vest so that might be something I'll do in future if I decide to but at the moment I'm just going to keep that as a belt probably keep it down there um, so, right, so I hope you found that useful um, hopefully we'll be back out soon detecting if you found anything useful please give it a like if you've got any comments please leave it down below and I'll, I'll answer your questions if you have any um, but yeah please like and subscribe I'll catch you later